So Jeb Bush and Marco Rubio got into a back and forth during the CNBC debate, and Jeb attacked Marco for missing Senate votes. And he did miss quite a few. And he went on to compare Marco's work to, quote, a French work week. So it's a funny Republican-like insult. I mean, that's something that, like, I've heard one of my right-wing uncles use that before. Like, ah, oh, you know, not working today? What are you, French? What are you, European? <laughs> it's so sad, because, like, they think they're, it's like a gotcha, but in reality, it's only a gotcha, like, against them. I want to work every day until I die and be miserable. You're so stupid for not wanting to do that. It's so sad. But the French ambassador heard that and uh, fired back. So they say, quote, this is from the International Business Times. He took to Twitter Wednesday night to defend the idea of a French work week, a tradition adopted in, in 2000 that sets the legal maximum of employee hours at 35. He noted that despite the requirement, French people spend an average of 39.6 hours a week working, more than the Germans, who work 39.2. So that's interesting, and I didn't even know that, to be honest, that uh, the French actually technically work longer than the Germans do, because if you believe the stereotypes, it's the opposite. The Germans wake up and they're like, Das, ja! Must go work! That's terribly offensive. I apologize to all my wonderful German listeners. Uh, but they, they do get, you know, the... The label has followed them for a long time. Now, hard workers, hard workers. Uh, whereas the French are like, oh, you know, all they do is fucking smoke cigarettes all day and eat cheese and get blown. Apparently, they're doing a lot more work than people thought. Uh, and let me give you another direct quote here from him. Quote, a French work week of three days, because that's what Jeb said in the debate. Oh, what a three-day French work week? A French work week of three days? No, but a pregnancy paid leave of 16 weeks? Yes, and proud of it. All right, so I like that follow-up better. Like, I, I understand the first follow-up where he's like, actually, it's 35-hour work week, but we technically work 39.6 hours. I actually don't even like that response that much because you're actually giving into Bush's premise that, like, you know, it's good that we should work more and we want to work more. And here, see, we don't work 35, we work 39.6, so ha, we're not lazy. No, I want, like, a, a, re a real art counter-argument to that, and that's that smells more like a real counter-argument, where he's like, no, you know, we get 16 weeks for paid maternity leave. Yeah, we have that by law. We like that. We're proud of it. You should have said that about the 35-hour work week. Like, fuck you. Yeah, we're proud of the 35-hour work week. We should make it fucking 30 uh, hours. Because, again, it goes back to this... This idea or this concept, which is so pervasive in capitalistic societies, that you solely exist for economic reasons. You're a spoke in a machine. You rent yourself and your labor on the marketplace to an overlord who throws you, you know, some money at the end of the week. There's something that's somewhat degrading about that. Now, I'm not an anti-capitalist, as everybody knows. I believe in a hybrid system. I believe in social democracy. But we shouldn't... I mean, how quickly everybody gives in to this idea, this right-wing, honestly, silly idea that, like, you brag about how much you work. This all goes back to the Puritan work ethic, which, which is the fundamental idea that work in and of itself is a good. Just by definition, work is good. Doesn't matter what you're working on. It, as long as every day you wake up and you go to work, oh, then you're a good person. I think that idea is comical. I mean, shouldn't there be a balance? Like, I get it. You know, life isn't all puppies and rainbows, so we can't wake up every day and just have nothing but leisure. And I think most people are with me on that, and they understand that. They're reasonable. So, okay, but let's figure out the right balance. How much should we work? How much time should we have off? And shouldn't it be... Shouldn't the starting position be at a time when we have technology and machinery that can do most of the work for us, why shouldn't the starting position be 50-50? Half the time you work, half the time you're off, and then we'll here we'll have a debate and a discussion from here on out as to how we should structure our society and how we should make it work. But from the right, the, the default position is like, you work every day! And then maybe we'll give you two days off. Thank the unions for that, for pushing for that. But maybe we'll be kind and give you two days off, and don't you dare ask for paid time off by law. What are you, French? What are you like, like life outside of work?
<laughs> so stupid. You're so stupid. So if anybody's wondering, you know, why is it that George... No, that's hilarious. I almost called Jeb Bush George Bush because they're very similar. Uh, if anybody's wondering why Jeb is doing so shitty in the polls, this is probably one of the reasons why here. I don't even think that... I think most Americans agree with me on this, where they view, like, this mocking of time off as like, what the fuck is wrong with you? We're overworked and undersexed. Yeah, give us more time off. The French are right. We're wrong. 